Welcome to another entry into the Hey Ed personal blog. Um, my name's Edward Anderson. Okay, so a farmer walks into his kitchen carrying a duck under his arm. And he says, here's the pig I was telling you about. And his wife says, that's not a pig. And the farmer says, I was talking to the duck. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I'm sorry. Stupid joke. Um, but it's been in my head for like a week. I don't know where I heard it. Um, I just had to get, get it out. Okay, so in my next episode, I'm going to be talking about how I managed to piss off the Yakuza in Japan. You're definitely going to, that's a, that, that's a good one. Uh, but in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about how I led a group of college kids uh, to Harvard. Okay, so it's 1979, and I am a freshman at Cornell College. Now, this is Cornell College in Iowa, not the university in New York, okay? And I was very interested in world politics, so I joined the United Nations Club. Well, about three weeks into school, um, at, at a meeting of the club, I didn't like the way the president was running the meetings, so I raised my hand and said, I move that we remove the current president and you elect me as the new president of the club. <laughs> well, it worked. Somebody seconded and they voted me in right there. So three weeks in to college, I'm, I pulled off a, a coup at the United Nations Club. <laughs> well, um, my political science professor was pretty impressed. And he said, uh, uh, Ed, you know, you should, you should take a group to, to, to Harvard. Now, as it turns out, uh, Harvard uh, once in a while uh, hosts a model United Nations where they invite colleges from around the country to represent particular countries uh, at a model United Nations. And they represent those countries' interests on different topics, right? So I thought, cool. So um, I applied and uh, we got accepted and our school uh, was assigned Ethiopia. So we studied up on, on Ethiopia. So then I walk into the office of the president of the college and asked to see him. And it's a small college. Uh, so I got in to see him right away. And I told him that I had applied and, and we got accepted to the Harvard National Model United Nations. And I told him, you know, this would be very good for our college to be represented at such a prestigious uh, event. And I had a budget to cover transportation, food, hotel, and a nice size per diem. And uh, he went for it. He said, sure, well, that sounds like a good idea. So there it is. So uh, um, I figured I could fit six people uh, into my station wagon, really cool car. I'm gonna do a separate video on that car someday. Um, so, uh, uh, so there's me. Then uh, I got two people from the club. It was a small club. Um, and then I knew one guy who was from Boston and his dad was actually a state senator uh, there. And I told him, uh, look, I can give you a free trip home to see your folks. And, and he went for it, so, so he was in. So then I needed two more spots. So I approached some uh, new friends of mine and I said, guys, would you like to go to Boston? It's all on me. And uh, uh, there is a uh, hemmed and hawed. Then I said, there's a big per diem. Um, and they said, okay, so they were, they were in. So the six of us pile into my car and we drive from Iowa to Boston. My first time to Boston, I'm a big history buff. So I loved, Bo I love Boston. Um, so much history there. And uh, we got to Harvard and then we, the, the symposium started and we broke off to our different breakout sessions, right? We each had different topics that we were supposed to represent, represent Ethiopia in. And in my session, uh, there's a, a girl uh, on the dais at the front of the room who was in charge of the speaking schedule. So if you wanted to speak, you had to write a note, give it to a runner, and he would run it up to her and she would put you on the speaker's list. Uh, well, she was, re she was really, really cute. I mean, really cute. So I wrote her a little note saying, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? <laughs> and I gave it to the runner, the runner gave it to her. She reads it, I'm watching her face. And, and she looks up say, oh, at the crowd, who, who the hell sent me this note? And so I waved and, uh, and, and she smiled and then she wrote back. 
She said, okay. <laughs> I swear to God, when I was a young man, I had game. Um, so as it turns out, her family owns a Chinese restaurant in Fanwell Hall. If you're from Boston, you know Fanwell Hall. It's a, it's a restored historic building. So we had dinner well, with her folks. Then afterward, we went out drinking. Um, and then I won't tell you how it ended. And then, then the next day, we did more stuff. We, uh, I had the best clam chowder I've ever had in my life out of a little shack right down there on the water uh, in Boston Bay. Uh, and we did a bunch of other stuff. So the nub of the story is, as it turns out, I didn't do a whole lot at, at the Harvard National Mo Model United Nations. Uh, I spent most of my time running around Boston with a Bella. <laughs> um, so then we get back in my car and go back to Iowa. I did keep in touch with Bella a little bit. We exchanged a, a few letters. Uh, uh, she gave me her Radcliffe sweatshirt. I gave her my Cornell sweatshirt. Uh, and uh, in, in one of my Italy pictures, you can see me wearing that Radcliffe uh, sweatshirt. And that's my Harvard story. And, uh, uh, but the next one, that's gonna really, that should really pique your interest because um, I managed to piss off the Yakuza in Japan. Okay, uh, all for now, Edward Anderson saying goodbye for now.